everybody, this is Sean. Thanks for joining me in this video tutorial. In this short segment, we're going to talk about how to use appointment slots on a Google Calendar and how to make those slots and a calendar available on Google Sites so that parents or teachers can use it to reserve parent-teacher conference times or even to check out materials such as iPad carts or reserve rooms like computer labs. So the first step that I'm going to need to take is to create a calendar that's separate and apart from my personal calendar. In this personal calendar at calendar.google.com, I have my primary calendar, but I don't want to use that because if I have any personal appointments or dates that I don't want anyone to see, I need to have a separate calendar so that it keeps all those appointments separate from the appointment slots. So I'm going to go to the drop down next to my calendars and create a new calendar. And I'm going to call this appointment slots. And because this is an appointment slot calendar that I want students and parents in our domain to see, I need to check share this calendar with others. And of course, if your parents don't have district or organizational accounts, you might even want to make this calendar public. So I'm going to do both of those and then click create calendar. And it's asking me if I'm sure I want to make this calendar public. I just say yes and it creates my calendar and it adds it to the my calendars list over here on the left hand side now it has appeared and so the first thing I'm going to do now that it's created is go out here and I'm going to say for instance I want to create parent teacher conference slots for this full week that's coming up next week so I click and I choose instead of an event I'm going to choose appointment slots and it says get started with appointment slots. This is my first time to use it on this account. So here at the top, there's a couple of things that you want to make sure that you set up properly. Now it says create appointment slots on calendar. And right now it's set to my teacher account, but I want to make sure that I put that as my calendar called appointment slots. That keeps it separate from my personal calendar. And then in the title, I'm going to put parent teacher conference times. Now, the parent-teacher conference times are in the evening, so I'm going to go down here to the time block and I'm going to check from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then, of course, this is just for one day, so I need to make sure that I have this repeat. And you have lots of different options on repeat. I'm going to choose every weekday, Monday to Friday, since our appointment times are in the evenings this week and I'm going to tell it to end on a certain date. Now we don't actually have appointments on Friday so if I click the on box and then click inside the specified date box then I can choose to make these end on the third and then hit done. So now these appointments will run from Monday August 31st through September 3rd now down in this section here on type, I, I don't want to offer these as a single appointment slot. I want them to be 15 minute time slots. So I do offer as slots of 15 minutes. And then I can also put where, and I can put uh, room 411 for instance. And then a description, parent teacher conference with Mr. Smith for instance. And this is a note that will show up in the calendar when the parent uh, creates that appointment time. And then if you have a co-teacher or a secretary or a principal that would also like to see those appointment times, you can also add them as a guest. And then as appointment slots come in, they will also receive those on their calendar. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to leave this blank. And then from here on, I can use this link right here to show my parents or send out to my parents so that they can make appointment times. All I need to do is right click and copy that link address and then click save and my appointment times are saved. So this is what they look like on my calendar. Let's take that link that we just copied and put it in a new tab on my browser and see what it looks like to the public when they go to that link. So I paste that link in and hit enter on my keyboard and now remember these appointment slots are next week so I'm going to move forward a week and now we can see that from 4 to 8 p.m. we have 15 minute time slots that parents can click on and once they do 
it books the appointment, it puts the name of the logged in user there. If they are not a logged in user, that's okay. It'll leave it blank or they can type in there. And then they can click save and then that reserves that slot so that no one else can reserve that same time. So this is what appointment slots look like. That's how you create them. Now let's take a look at one way that you can put this out on a website so that parents and students can see it on your teacher web page. Now it just so happens that we're using Google Sites to do this and I'm going to use a page that I've already set up. And so here's that teacher page. It's just a sample te teacher page I've set up. And from here, this is just a blank website right now, but I'm going to create a page and call it Parent Conferences and then click Create. Now my parent conference page, it automatically opens and I can start editing. And what I need to do is I need to insert the calendar that I just created back here for my appointment slots. Now in Google Sites, this is pretty simple to do. All I have to do is click from the edited page, click insert calendar, and then it shows me all of the calendars that I've set up on my Google Calendar. And it just so happens here's appointment slots. So I click that and click select. Now I can choose whether to make this an agenda view, a month view, or a week view. I want the week view so that they can see all the appointment slots in one view. And I'll click save. And then I save my page. And you can see that the appointment slots page will show up here with the calendar. If we move ahead to next week, you can see there are no appointment slots taken up because no one has clicked on my calendar to reserve an appointment yet. So. I'm going to show you what that looks like as well in just a second. Now the other thing I want to do is I'm going to go back and edit my page and I'm going to put at the top of the screen, I'm going to put view the calendar below for appointment times if a time, if the time you desire is available. Click this link to reserve. Now I'm going to highlight the words click this link and remember I copied the address for the appointment slots and pasted it here. So I'm going to go back to the page and click the link button to add a link to those words. I choose web address, drop in the URL. I'm going to click open this link in a new window, click OK and then save. So now when parents come to this page, they'll see the calendar. They'll see that no appointments have been made so they can click on this link, view the times available, choose one if they want to, click save, and it reserves that slot. And from here we can close the page and if we refresh our website, we can see that for next week, an appointment slot has been made and there are no others at this time. So that's one way that you can set up appointment slots on a calendar, make them available on the web so parents and students can see them, and make it much easier to reserve parent-teacher conference times. Keep in mind, you can also do the same thing to reserve computer labs, any iPad carts, Chromebook carts, anything that your organization uses as a checkout lab. Thanks for joining me and I hope this tutorial was useful to you and we'll see you next time.